Hi folks, South African wine is on the up and up. This week on Big On Wine, we're off again to the Western Cape. In fact, to the Western Cape winelands to sample a white wine, which is in fact a blend of no less than seven different varieties. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which brings you, as you should know by now, news, clues and reviews. In fact, we try to bring you up to speed on just about everything in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is all the way from South Africa, and it's this one here. It goes by the short name of Bosman Adama, and the vintage is 2016. And this wine comes in for a price where I am of just under 15 euro a bottle. Okay, let me bring you some of the details on this wine. Now this is actually made by Bosman Family Vineyards and they're based in the Western Cape of South Africa. What does that mean? Well, the Western Cape, of course, is right down in the south of South Africa. In fact, uh, Bosman Family Vineyards are based in the town of Wellington, uh, which has a population of about 60,000 people. And Wellington is one of the main cities in the so-called Western Cape Winelands, which is the largest wine producing region in South Africa. Wellington is about 45 minutes or so, 75 kilometers northeast of Cape Town. Now this is a big agricultural area. In this area of the Western Cape, they produce a lot of fruit and a lot of wine and brandy. Now this wine here is unusual in the sense that it is a blend of no less than seven different white varieties. Let me give you the names of those varieties. In this wine, we have the Chenin Blanc, the Chardonnay, the Grenache Blanc, the Pinot Gris, the Roussin Semillon, and the Viognier. Okay, so we can expect, I think, a rather interesting combination of aromas and flavors in this wine. The key question, of course, is do they work in harmony together? All right, let's take a look at the wine in the glass. And of course, we can see that it has an absolutely gorgeous golden color. This is far darker than the normal kind of pale straw gold. This is almost a, a pure gold in color, at least to my eye. Looks incredibly um, giving. It looks as though it's had a lot of sun on it in the glass anyway. Let's see what it uh, does in the nose. Now in the nose, mm, interesting. Now in the nose, the um, mellow fruit, which we might be expecting going on the basis of the color, is not immediately apparent. This is more like perhaps a Chardonnay in terms of its nose. So it's relatively thin. Um, in the nose, we're getting a little bit perhaps of um, something rather exotic and unusual. Is it closer to pineapple? But generally speaking, it has um, a rather kind of toasty aroma to the wine. The first, first thing, the first impression is of a toasty um, aroma, which undoubtedly comes from the oak in which this wine has been aged. Let's um, see if we can pick anything else out. Yes, it perhaps a little touch of apple in there, yellow apple perhaps in there, but it's the toasty aroma which really is predominant in this wine. Okay, let's try it in the mouth now and see, uh, see how we get on in the mouth. Now that's extremely interesting and no doubt due to the blend of seven different varieties. First of all, this does have roughly five, six grams of residual sugar to it. So the first impression is of a dry wine, which does have a small amount of minimal amount of sweetness to it as well. And I think the five or six grams of sugar is kind of underlined 
by the mature fruit, which is quite clear, clearly to the fore in this wine. So mature fruit. So in the mouth, the, um, the apple, yellow apple, very mature yellow apple, but also something more exotic in there, um, pineapple, maybe a touch of peach in there as well. Very difficult to tell. There's such a broad palette of flavors here. I'm picking out the yellow apple and the pineapple as the predominant flavors, but there is something peachy in there as well. And this toastiness, which comes back, particularly in the finish of the wine, there is a kind of a sweet, spicy toastiness there. Uh, almost, almost like perhaps something close to hazelnut, something nutty in the finish as well, which is quite unusual. Leaving also in the mouth quite a kind of a creamy, creamy flavour. Um, so not kind of that clean citrus flavour, this is quite normal, um, but a more creamier, darker flavour in the mouth as well. Very interesting combination of aromas and flavours in this wine. Okay, um, what is a wine like this uh, going to be a good partner to in terms of food. Well, I think you need, judging from the wide range of flavors and aromas on offer in the wine, I think you're going to be looking at fish and seafood, but I think the fish and seafood does need to be sufficiently flavorful. So I'm thinking pink fleshed fish, um, salmon, sea trout, etc., cetera, um, rainbow trout, um, flavorful seafood, but this would also work uh, extremely well, I think, with white meat as well. So chicken and turkey would be extremely good partners to this wine here. All right, let's bring you the heads up on this one. This is an unusual wine, but a very nicely made one. A blend of no less than seven different white varieties. This is Bosman Adama uh, 2016 from South Africa's Western Cape. It has exotic fruit, it has toastiness, it has a rather unusual sweet spicy finish with a, with a, a, with a kind of creaminess there as well. I'm gonna give this wine four stars out of five. Okay guys, many, many thanks for checking out this week's video and uh, the little intro to an unusual wine from South Africa's Western Cape Winelands, Bosman Adama, vintage 2016, a blend of no less than seven varieties. Interesting stuff. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us the big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below. You know, your comments are vitally important to us. We're always very, very happy to receive them. Follow me on my other social media, platforms and of course share the video around to your heart's content and hey if you haven't done so already please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me and of course i'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you and until we meet again this is tony melville signing off and saying hey take care out there be good to each other enjoy your wines and cheers